Shut up and sit down. Hello everybody, this is Nate with the STS guys bringing you another unboxing video. Today we have the PX Previews exclusive Deathstroke. You may be asking yourself, hey, I'm pretty sure Nate already unboxed the Deathstroke. Why is he doing this again? Well, it's because it's the PX Previews exclusive version. I got the standard version, really happy with it. However, when I saw this one come out, um, I was a little hesitant at first, but um, now that I'm seeing pictures of it, I had to get it. It looks awesome. It's got this black and gold color scheme. Anyways, let's open it up. Let's see what we're getting into. So you got the Deathstroke logo on the front. You got the PX Previews exclusive, Mezco Toys, 112 Collective, which is what they call this line, and then the DC logo on the front. Um, you got this cool gold lettering that says Deathstroke. Um, on the side here, you've got the 112 Collective logo again. You've got MezcoToys.com. It's the company that sells these figures. And then you've got Deathstroke again on this side. On the back, you got some promo pictures of the, of the figure. This is nothing new. Shows you all the accessories, shows you the figure. Um, you know, some pretty cool stuff that's included in this figure. So like I said, I, I did get the standard version. I do really like it. Um, but this one has the black and gold color scheme. It came out really, really good. Um, you'll notice this packaging is a little bit different. For PX Previews exclusive, it always comes in this metal tin. Um, it's not like a standard cardboard box. It's the metal tin. Um, it's mainly with PX, P, yeah, PX Previews exclusive. They come with that metal tin. That's how you can tell it's a PX Previews exclusive. Anyway, let's break into this figure. Let's see what we got. So you get two layers. Uh, this is the top layer. We will go through the bottom one too. Sorry for the noise there. And let's peel this back. All right. And here is our figure. And I really, really love this look. Um, I think it came out so good. Um, the, the black and gold color scheme just really works for Deathstroke. Uh, you get this cool black armor plating, black pouches, the holster. Uh, you get some, you know, molded armor pieces here. These are some grenades that are molded on. Those don't come off, uh, but they have the gold accent. Um, and then you got his black boots and his mask, which is a black and gold color scheme. I think this came out really good. The cool thing about this is that it doesn't have to be Deathstroke. It can be really any mercenary um, that you want to do. I've seen people put Punisher heads on him. Um, you can put other heads of figures that maybe aren't as well known, um, but you can make him like kind of this really badass mercenary. So it's kind of a versatile figure. It doesn't have to be just Deathstroke. Uh, cool little details on his helmet. Really, really happy with how this turned out. I think it's great. Um, so you do get another unmasked head. I love unmasked heads. I kind of wish this one was a little bit different than the standard because I actually do have the standard, so I already have this head, but never hurts to have another one. Uh, definitely looks like Slade Wilson to me. He's got that eye patch over his eye. He's got the kind of the gray hair. Um, he's got a stern look on his face. Really happy with how this head sculpt came out. I think they did a good job. You get six different sets of hands. So you get the closed fist, which you kind of saw when I was holding the figure up, but it's just a, you know, it's closed fist. So a left and a right version of that. Then you get a hand for holding swords. So it's a smaller opening. Um, it's meant to hold his sword that he comes with, which I'll show you. And then you get another set of hands, which are meant for holding guns. So it's got a trigger finger on the hand itself. Uh, it's definitely meant for holding the guns. He's got a left and a right version of that. So I like how they gave us some more hands. Then you get the assault rifle. This is the same uh, assault rifle that was included with the Deathstroke. The only difference being the color scheme. So it's black and gold. The other one was more of like a black and an orange. Um, but just really cool assault rifle. Got that scope on the front. Um, the magazine does come out. So this magazine is removable. And let's see if I can get it. There is actually a bullet sculpted on the top. 
so you can kind of see the bullets in there. Cool little detail. Uh, let's see here. You get this holster for the sword. So this holds his sword. Um, you can put it over the chest of him. Um, you can, you know, you don't have to use this as you can see it's removable. So it's cool that they give you the variation. And then you've got his sword. This is the same sword that was included with the standard. However, it's got a different color scheme. So the blade is black. It was silver in the other version. You get the hilt, which is black and gold. It was more of like a orange and black in the other one. Um, this is a unique sword just to Deathstroke. You will not find this sword with any other Mezco figure, only on the Deathstrokes. And then you get a pistol, pretty standard pistol, you know, nothing real special going on here. However, it's really nicely detailed. Um, you get this kind of silver accent here for the chamber. This does not slide back and it does come with a removable magazine. So it's got the same little details with the bullet molded on top and it goes in, you know, you can put it in the gun. So uh, nice little details here, but let's go to the uh, second layer. This is one of the reasons why you would get the PX exclusives version because it comes with a second layer. These are all additional accessories that were not included in the standard release. So let's peel back this plastic. It's on here pretty snug. Um, you get this cool little stand. It's the same stand that was included with the Deathstroke one except with the black and gold coloring. You get this little baggie for the accessories. Um, let's look at these this sniper rifle is really really awesome um, a lot of great detail it's nice and big it looks kind of like a 50 caliber to me you got the silencer on the front you get this nice big scope it's even got the little kickstand so you can prop it up and have them laying down you know taking a shot really really came out well i really like uh, getting additional guns for my figures i've got quite a large armory of guns now for these mezcos okay with me i, I like collecting them and just like on all the other guns, the magazine actually does come out. It's a little bit smaller and it's got the bullet molded on top. And you get two magazines for this sniper rifle. So really happy with that. I like it a lot. You get a submachine gun. So this looks, looks like an MP5 if I had to guess. Uh, nice clean. It's got that black and gold color scheme that's going on with this figure. And the magazine does come out as well. Got the bullet molded right on top, and you do get two magazines for this gun. And then you get the grenade launcher. So I think, if I had to guess, I think this is the same grenade launcher that came with the armored Batman. Um, this one just has a different color scheme. It's got the black and gold. Uh, really nice little details. I think it came out great. The stock is uh, movable, so it goes in and out. And I don't think, looks like this does not slide, so this doesn't move. Um, they did actually give you some grenades that go along with this gun. So these little tiny grenades, black and gold, uh, nice little details that go, act, they actually do fit into the barrel. So if you wanted to, you could put it in the barrel. And then you get this uh, display arm. These display arms, if you don't know already, uh, they go into this stand and you can use it to do like action poses. So if you have them jumping in the air or Whatever it is that you want to do, um, you can use this stand to help keep him up so he doesn't fall over. Anyways, um, I'm really, really happy with this with this version of the Deathstroke. I'm actually really happy I got one. Um, so if you happen to get one at a good price, I really recommend it. They're starting to come into stores, so your local comic shop may have one. I would check it out if you're interested. Um, once these are gone, they're going to be hard to find like most other Mezcos. If this is your first STS Guys videos, please check out the rest of our channel. If you like this video, please give me a big fat thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this figure in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you like Mezcos? Do you like this figure? Um, you know, we always appreciate your interactions. Check us out on SoundCloud. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Twitter. Uh, we've got a really great giveaway going on. Super Mega Batman Prize Pack giveaway. Giving away a lot of cool stuff. You can enter at stsguys.fun. If you haven't entered yet, I really recommend it. Um, you don't want to miss out on those cool, those cool uh, prizes that you're going to get. Anyways, guys, this is Nate with the STS guys. Appreciate you stopping by, um, and we're signing off. Have a great day.